All right, I am up close and personal because I am going to be showing you guys how to apply these magnetic lashes. And this camera is, oh wow, duh, I forgot to put the, the locks on it. I'm gonna be showing you how to apply these magnetic lashes, which is what I have on. And my daughter is gonna step in just really quick and show you how she apply hers as well. So we're gonna get started with me first. I'm gonna show you what the container looks like because they're already on. Then I'm gonna take them off and get into the camera and show you how we put them on. I have the double one tens and these are by Ardell. Some come with the um, applicator and some don't. I don't really like the applicator to be honest with you because I feel like it's more difficult to put them on. Excuse me, I dyed my hair so yeah, I got like dye and stuff in my fingers so excuse that. But anyways, I don't like the applicator. Um, we've tried it a couple times but it's not as great. It just seems like it's more of a hassle. So I'm going to show you how to put them on just by my hands and what you should do to prepare these because I notice when a lot of people do them they put them on and they just look straight like they stick up off their eyes straight they don't bother me they're not in a way I'm not a um, woman who looks loves a really big 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 lash with a lot going on I like mine to look somewhat natural and have a thinned out tip and look like kind of like a cat eye so that's why I went with the 110 and that's what these are right here so let's get these bad boys off and show you how I apply them First of all, what you want to do is make sure you apply some mascara. And the reason why I scouted out trying to do magnetic is because for my anniversary, I wore um, lashes and they tore my lashes out. They literally tore my lashes out. So my lashes are back to being very short and I can't stand it. I want them to grow and they can't grow if you keep applying glue and all that stuff that makes them not grow. So you see my lashes? Yeah, my lashes are, when I usually put um, mascara on, these bad boys are like, whew, people think I have fake ones on, but no. So this is what they look like. You have a top and you have a bottom. When you first get them, this is what you should do. You take them off here and the top, apply it to the bottom. See how they automatically stick together? So that's going to be a full lash. Don't think this is four sets. This is just one set. Okay, one pair. And what you do to avoid that straight look that most of them give you is you take the magnets and you connect them like that. So you see how that's connected? And you let them sit like that for like a good 15 minutes or so. So I usually do both. This is my right eye. And the way that they sit in front of you like this, as if you're showing them to somebody, right eye, left eye. Okay, so this is going to be the top. And I'm going to see how it automatically locks to each other, the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing. This is the reason why so many people have a problem because they are not getting that good connection on their eyes. Because when you get them, even though they're kind of curved in the little tray, they go straight for some reason when you put them on. So I'm going to hold my left eye and right eye just like that and let them sit. Now, I've already worn these, these are already ready, so we're just gonna jump right in, and hopefully I can get you a good close-up, and I still got a lot enough mascara on. Maybe I should put a little more on just to be on the safe side. Hold on, let me get my mascara. So, I'm using this Katy Perry, and I'm going to just apply a nice coat of it on my lash because they stick so much better. I am telling you, if you do not put mascara on and do the thing where you put them in a circle and let them sit, those are the two keys to getting these bad boys to stay on your eyes. And you can put as many coats as you choose. The thicker probably would be the better. I usually put like a coat or two, I mean two coats on and then you let it dry. Okay, so we're gonna grab right eye. Now remember, when you open it up, see how it's giving that nice curve? That means it's gonna stay conformed to your eye. So we're gonna take the top one off and I'm gonna set the bottom one down for right now. I'm gonna set it on my leg so I can see it. So we're gonna take the top one 
and we're gonna put it on and get as close to it's hard doing it in a camera with a bright light in front of you so get it as close to your eyelid as you possibly can right my daughter was supposed to have me a mirror so you get as close to your eyelid and then you come with the bottom one because sometimes when you move okay so i'm gonna be looking in this mirror over here this is much clearer for me than looking at my camera so we're gonna get as close as you can to hey don't move the camera I mean, the lid, the uh, camera, blah, 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 mirror. Perfect. So I can see. Then you come from the bottom and you want them to sandwich just like that. So now that they're sandwiched, you push up and you press together like so, guys. Y'all see that? So what I'm going to do is take my fingers and press down to push them closer together. And that is it, okay? It is not that difficult. People do too much entirely. So look, this is the magnetic lash. And I love it, I love it, love it. I don't have to worry about glue. My lashes can grow back and I can still be a diva if I choose to, okay, okay. Okay, so let's get to the other eye. Let's get to the other eye. All right. So remember, top one is for the top. I need the mirror, girly. And <clears throat> I'm going to look in this, but try to get close as I can. So we're going to place this. You don't want to place it all the way over into this way over here. Because if you do, it's going to bother you and be tickling this part of your eye. So you want to press it down like so. And get it right to where your natural eyelash is. So that way you don't um, look like, uh, yeah, you got some fake lashes on. So the key is to get as close to the base as possible. Now when you get this top one on, right, and then you put the other one on, you're going to um, press them closer together. So what I'm doing is just pressing it down, pressing it down, trying to get it close to my eyelid. See how close it is? That's what I want because the closer the better when I come in with this. Now this is the bottom. Now this is going to snap to this. You see that? And then all you do is pinch. All you do is pinch. Pinch them together. Yes, okay, okay. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? These are the Artdell 110, double 110s. And I got these off of um, walmart.com and they were $6.98. And I know in Sally's they're like 14 bucks if you are not a professional. I got mine for $13.18, um, so yeah. I would suggest you go on walmart.com because they're cheaper, period. And I ordered myself two pairs and her two pairs. I have a pair of these and a pair of the ones she got, but I think I like these more because they go from short to long and it's like a cat eye effect and I love that. So those are my lashes and my daughter's getting ready to put hers on for you as well. But yep, here she comes. Hey guys, so mine are on and I'm about to take them off so you guys can see what this would look like on. Just take them off. When you take them off, all you gotta do is that. They don't hurt anything. Like they just feel like you're just sliding them off your eye. But I use this to put mine on, even though this is metal and it might get stuck. I use it to put it on because it's easier for me. And I do everything she just said in the beginning, like of her part, or whatever. And yeah, so I get as close as I can. You want me to hold that in my hand so it's closer for you or you good? Okay. Okay. Well, you got it in front of the camera. Oh, I do? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. But you got to edit that, that out? Yeah, but I just used that to put in there. Because it's easier for me. My eyes want to because I just stabbed myself. <laughs> Why I've had it, I'm putting a little music against something. Oh, that's a 
Ok, preč? I really don't have to use that, but I like to. It's really simple, right? Some people just make it so difficult. Yeah. You could just pull this one over just a tad bit. I like mine like this. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. But, yeah, it didn't take me that long to put it on. It took me like 30 seconds. But it's like every time I'm putting them on for school, it took me longer. And now that I'm like, what are you doing? Like, struggling. <laughs> right, right. But, so I'm yeah. about to come back in the camera. So here we are. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to put on the Ardell double demis, right? Or double wispies. Double, double demis. Wait, double demi wispies. Double demi wispies and double 110s is what we have on. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure if you're new to my channel, you subscribe because it costs you nothing. And make sure you click that bell so you're notified when I put up all my new how-to videos and DIY videos. Because I'm going to show you how to save your coins and do things differently without breaking the bank and making it easy for yourself. So, stay tuned for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, Katers.